Hey everybody, I'm Dr. Gray. I wanted to make a video demonstrating how to prepare a PDF of the laboratory experiments that you're going to be submitting through Canvas. Now, what you're going to have is you're going to have approximately 10 pages. Let's say that your, your experiment was 10 pages long. You're going to want to submit that on every single one of them. Now, one of the most important parts of this submission is we need you to submit your uh, first page of your, your your experiment has your photo ID resting on top of it. So what I'm going to do as, as kind of my example is I'm going to use this piece of mail that I got from Kroger. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my ID, lay it on top of there, I'm going to get my phone, I'm going to take a picture of the first page. And you can kind of see at the bottom of the screen there, yep, yes, I am taking a picture of that. So I'm taking a picture, boom, I've got my picture. Okay. Now, the next thing that you're going to want to do with that picture and every successive picture that you get is in my phone, what I'm going to do is go into those pictures and I'm going to email that picture to myself. So I'll go pause. When it comes to the resolution of that image, I would encourage you to use a high resolution image. It doesn't have to be the actual size image, but a, a the larger version of that that picture, just so that you can ensure that everything on your experiment is completely legible. Okay, so I've emailed that to myself, and in just a second, in Microsoft Outlook, I'm going to get a notification that I've got an email. Okay, <laughs> here is that email, which you can see. Is that it? Yep, that's it. Um, just a second. Okay, moments. Yep. So here is my image that I've gotten. With that image, what I'm going to do is I'm going to click Control C so I can copy that. The next thing that I'm going to do after I've selected that is I'm going to hit, I'm going to go into uh, a Microsoft Word document. Now, in that Word document, there's nothing there, but I've hit Control C to copy that picture. I'm going to hit Control V to paste that picture. Now, just as an example, you're going to copy every successive page, copy, paste, copy, paste. I'm going to paste every successive picture for all 10 or so pages of my uh, experiment. Then what I'm going to do is I'm not going to worry about saving this document, but rather I'm going to hit Control P. Control P is going to give me the operation or the function to print, I'm not going to go to Epson or my actual printer, but instead I'm going to go to Adobe PDF. Now, whenever I click print, what this is going to do is it's going to prompt me with, where would you like to save this PDF? And so what I've done is I've clicked print. This prompts me with a window, where do I want to save this file? And I'm going to make a folder on my desktop titled experiment, and I'm going to say experiment one. Just as an example, I'm going to click save, and boom, then I, have, then I have a PDF. Now, what this is very helpful with is that you don't have to worry about images that are, like, if you use an iPhone, most likely the picture that you take is going to be an HEIC file extension. We don't have to navigate file extensions at all, types of files or anything like that. Copy and paste, copy and paste, boom, it's done. You don't have to worry about converting a file from this type to this type. In addition to that, the file that you're generating with this is only a matter of, let's see, it's probably this file that I just made with these images. It's not even one megabyte, it's 612 kilobases, not kilobases, kilobytes, sorry. Um, if you try to do this and you copy those HEICs, those are going to make a PDF at an astronomical size. It's going to be like 150 megabytes. There's no need for that. You can make this file. This is 600 uh, kilobytes. You're good to go. At any rate, I hope this is helpful and I hope you have a good one.